Welcome back to ABC 7 at 6. I'm Stephanie Valle. And I'm Mark Ross. A research student at New Mexico State University is looking into ways of how to fend off those pesky mosquitoes using natural solutions like essential oils. And it seems she may have stumbled onto something. ABC 7's Lil Bacicero was at the research lab at NMSU and she reports from our New Mexico mobile mm. newsroom. Okay. Never been so excited to be bitten by a mosquito before. Okay, that's a joke. You may be wondering why I have my arm in a cage filled with mosquitoes. There is a growing consumer interest in more naturally derived repellents. Haley Luca is a second year graduate student at NMSU. I was curious as to see if essential oils do work as repellents and if so, how well. Enter the experiment not just to be able to fend off mosquitoes using essential oils, but the diseases they bring with them. Luca and her team picked 20 essential oils with guidance from the Environmental Protection Agency. They mix them with organic lotion. Of those were cinnamon, cedarwood, citronella, peppermint, um, clove oil. We know that citronella already works in repelling mosquitoes. No surprise that when I stuck my hand in this cage with a mixture of citronella and lotion, no bites. Citronella does repel, but only for about 30 minutes. While the results can vary from person to person and location, she says the essential oils she tested outperformed citronella by far. Luca said in her experiment, the protection from these essential oils lasted from an hour to two. Her goal is to make the protection last even longer. So somebody's going to watch this and run out to the store and get cinnamon oil. Would you recommend that? I would recommend not putting 100% any of any essential oil on your skin. If you're going to be trying to make your own repellent products this summer, I would recommend diluting it. We did 10% concentrations, so one part essential oil, nine parts lotion. Good? Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. Reporting from Las Cruces, with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Lilo Basitsiro, ABC7.